Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and in today's video I'm going to show you some of my carbon cell finds. Uh, forget the uh, beautiful Regency plaster candle holder there. Um, she's already been in a video of her own, I just filmed now. <coughs> I've got some bits here to show you on a couple of pieces down here on the floor. Got a wonderful selection of jewellery again. I have some nice oriental and a nice bit of bronze. But before we get started, um, I've got some nice pictures to show you. Now this has all come in from various locations. Um, I've had the jewellery privately, I've had the, the painting, uh, the pictures, paintings, the pictures from Bessemer, I had the bronze from Sully, and I've had this beautiful oriental bowl from Gethly Gay. So Hopefully you'll enjoy having a look at these guys, and I will give you close-ups of everything in a few minutes. I'm going to start off with some of the drop. Oh, I got terrible dropsies. Cardiff football team, season 1910 and 11. The only downside is, looks like a rugby ball to me, not a football. So we have an interesting photo here. Um, corner has been damaged unfortunately of the mount um, but what intrigues me even more and I'm going to show you in a few minutes now I know back in 1910 that photographs were expensive now what they've done here they have a team photograph and they have an original or a period let me rephrase that a period photograph and somebody's head has been replaced here you can clearly see where somebody's head's been cut out and stuck on over someone else's so I don't know whether there was um, an alteration to the team or whether somebody during a period thought, do you know I want to try and say I'm part of that team. Uh, so they stuck their head on it. I really don't know. Um, or oh, it could be the player and he just won't be with the photo and change it. I don't know. But it's, I found it quite interesting and I'd like to know what it is and why. Um, also, they are... They do have a rugby ball with rugby togs on, uh, but it does say Cardiff football team. So, a bit of research needed, but it's um, it's come in for £2.50 out of Bessemer Road. This was a week or two ago. Next piece is that. What we got here is an old dirty mind, Pears Soap Advertising Mirror. It's got a bit of distress in up here in the corner to the mirror and I'll show you a close up in a minute. Uh, lovely image and to believe it or not I actually like the distressed look uh, on this mirror. It really gives it the age and the character. It really does look the part. Absolutely stunning mirror and I tell you what it's a good weight. It's not one of these very light flimsy ones you get. This is a period early one I think. Um, let's see, a bit of damage to the mirror here or distressing, which I, I actually think shows a bit of age and character. Once I give it a good clean, um, that's going to go down the shop. Price wise, I don't know yet. We're going to do some research in a minute. Next one, guys, is the American Revolution Bicentenary mirror. Now again I'm going to give you um, a look at this on close up. Um, you have the American Eagle obviously the 1976 to, uh, 1776 to 1976 uh, 200 year centenary and um, this is about four kilos I think three four kilos in weight. It's a really thick glass mirror and again, absolutely beautiful. And this cost me a fiver. A whole fiver, guys. I see that at 50, 60 pound of anyone's money. Um, but we'll have a little look, see, see what we can find out about them. Obviously, as I've said, you'll get close ups in a minute. Got a really nice, modern, but really nice, solid bronze um, cast pair of dancing figurines or figures um, looks classical to me with the long dress and everything really nice 
What can I say? Um, I wouldn't say it's ballet, it's more like the waltz or the tango or something along M lines. Solid bronze guys. You know, really nice, it's poorly cast, but they are more for decorative purposes. They're not, you know, like a 19th century bronze would be with crisp details. Um, we have then this beautiful oriental bowl. Now, this was brought to me by a man in Gethlegay. I've bought off many, many times. I've had some beautiful items off him at a very fair price, to be totally honest with you. He brought this up to me in Gethlegay and asked would I be interested in it, and he charged me £10. And to be totally honest with you, he sold it to me as a Japanese bowl, so he knows more than I do on the Oriental anyway. Because um, I'm... If it's Chinese export of the 18th, 19th and 20th century, I can get it. I'm learning the monochromes, but I'm still struggling to tell the difference between Japanese and Chinese Orientals. There really is no simple book that says, rule of thumb, if it's this, this, this is Chinese, if it's this, this, this is Japanese. It really is all on. It's everything. Now, I looked and I didn't see no stilt marks and things like that. Um, but the style of paint and everything, I do believe he was 100% right uh, saying Japanese. Uh, it does make it worth a lot less. Um, but I do believe it's 20th century as well. However, in saying that, it's still a very pleasant Japanese porcelain bowl. So, I'm going to give you a good look at that in just a minute. Other than that, I've had a really nice salt and pepper set in solid brass inlaid with mother of pearl, which you'll get to see in a minute. A nice selection of gold and a nice selection of solid silver rings. So hopefully, you'll enjoy having a look at the close-ups, guys. See you soon. Okay, so I'm going to show you the American Revolution mirror. As you can see, this is an absolute corker of a mirror, beautifully done in a nice frame as well. Looking at these holes here, this has been mounted in a pub, screwed to a wall somewhere so nobody could steal it. So somebody valued it really highly, and for a fiver. Well, I'm expecting that to be pulling between 50 and 100 pounds, to be totally honest with you. Then we come over to this Pears print. Now, I always liked a Pears print image anyway. Nice bit of distressing up in the corner there, and I actually think that adds to the character anyway, as I've said. A bit more distressing, but there. Um, but again, a really nice image. We've got two really nice mirrors here that cost me less than a tenner, guys. That one is quite something, but again, I love. Well, I like everything I've bought. Okay, for today we're going to start off on the jewellery, which is quite unusual because I normally keep the jewellery to the end. Now, one thing I'm struggling for down the shop is men's rings, and as you can see here, I have a really nice assortment. That's a lovely belt belt buckle ring, nice Welsh dragon ring there. Um, these are quite large, two of these rings. All solid silver, so I've got three gents rings there that are going to fly out of the shop. I think that one could be classed as a gents as well, to be totally honest with you. Um, so maybe four. Then I've got a nice selection here, all set with a variety of stones. And I'm being funny, they're seriously decorative as you can see. Absolutely stunning colour of that stone. Um, now these silver rings all owe me a fiver each. And I'm being funny, there's two, nine rings, £45. And to be totally honest with you, these are going to go £25-£30 each. But well, most of them are going to be £25-£30 to £30 a, a ring. So I'm going to be doing really well on that sex selection of rings. And they come in privately. I didn't offer a price, I was given my price of a fiver a ring and that's what I paid. So I'm really pleased with those. Then I got these beautiful pieces of gold. Now there's 10 grams of gold here. And I've bought it all for £80, which is £8 a gram. Look at that ring. And this one's set with diamonds. Diamonds and amethyst. And then we come to the earrings, which I think are a variety of stones, including peridot and possibly, is it topaz maybe? A beautiful pair of earrings as well. Now, 
bearing in mind they've cost me eight pound a gram i'm not going to be selling these nowhere near scrap um, a ring like that's going to be up 140 pound now in the shop as with our one probably about the same and the earrings are probably going to be 40 or 50 pound so again we're doing really well on the gold i have increased the price of my gold in the shop um, i decided i was selling it too cheap and it has still been selling it hasn't affected the sales so fingers crossed it keeps going that way now we come to this beautiful japanese bowl and it is a beautiful bowl now if you look here on the opaque enamels which is nice to see to be totally honest so you can see the way uh, on the enamel that's supposed to be a horse but <laughs> they always have uh, comical animals but it's a really nice sectioned off uh, bowl all hand painted and it has a nice sound the back isn't particularly quality uh, done as you can see it's just splodges of paint there's the uh, foot rim it's definitely a Japanese bowl after a little bit of research but would I have still bought it if I'd known it was Japanese yes I would because it is just a beautiful bowl and for a tenner, do you know, I see that going 30, 40 pound in the shop in no, in no problem whatsoever. So I'm really pleased with that. I say I see it going 30, 40 pound. I hope it'll go for 30 pound, but uh, if it doesn't, then I'm not going to struggle to get a profit. And to be honest with you, I do like it. Here's the uh, salt and pepper with the mother of pearl inlay. So really nice quality, good heavy weight, really nice. They were a pound guys, they really were. And I'm gonna put 15 pound, 12 to 15 pound on the pair of them. Uh, if somebody wants a nice quality salt and pepper set, you know, that's gorgeous for the shop. So, so far we're doing really well. And we come to this beautiful bronze of the dancing couple so that's the close up of that right then let's show you this now we have the picture now these old pictures are really really nice and if you catch them in the right light you can really see the blue um, well, it's hard to tell, explain, but you can see the early photo photography. Um, but if you look here at this one, can you see the outline in there around the head? Clearly indicating that that head has been replaced. They've done a good job on it, but if you look, that somebody's cut their own head out and put it on top. It looks a bit like Stephen Henry. <laughs> I don't know who the hell it is. Um, but it is, it's down as the football team and that's clearly a rugby ball and they got togs on so I don't know if the wrong picture has been mounted on the backboard or whether the football and rugby team were one in the same back then but there's all the names so it'll be easy enough to research and it is a Cardiff one so to be honest with you I may give the um well, any Cardiff rugby club a ring and see if they'd be interested in the uh, photograph and see if they'd want it to frame up and put on the wall. So that's the first. Okay, guys, so I'm going to come through now. Um, I found a very similar pair of bronze figures to what I've got. Um, quite a new similar casting they're, they're almost identical to be honest too, just different dance posing um, and these people achieved 25 and a half quid 26 quid so that's where we're at with the uh, the dancers moved on to the pairs mirrors I was shocked at how low these are 20 pound they sold and 18 pound they sold there are people asking stupid money from but I like to go off the sold prices but this ain't enough for me. Excuse me. 
I rate these at about th uh, mine at about thirty thirty five pound, uh, and that's what it's going to be going at. Uh, the salt and pepper, you know, I said twelve quid. There's one there fourteen pound. There's another one a ten, and there's another one there for a fiver. So I'm going to stick to my twelve pound on that. There isn't um, a bicentennial American Revolution mirror on eBay or anywhere else, so I can't value that one. I'm just going to go off my own instinct. And there is with the Japanese bowl, to be honest with you, there's so much, and they're putting it down as Satsuma, and I, that's not a Satsuma bowl. Um, so I'll probably keep that one and do some research. So, as I've said, guys, um, the, the Miss Pears mirror. It's going to go up for 30 um, purely on its decorative merits in the shop. Now, the bicentennial mirror of the American Revolution, there's none on eBay, none have been on eBay, and I can't find one on Google. So I'm going to put about £60 on that, um, and I don't mind if it stays in the shop for a little while. That's going to go up for about 60 So these two mirrors there cost me less than 10 and they're probably going to pull me back not far off 100 The salt and pepper... £12. I'm probably going to end up keeping the Japanese bowl till I understand it more. The bronze figure here is going in the shop for 30 As I've already said about the rings, you know, they're, like, they're the silver ones are going to average 25 apiece. The gold ones, about one and a half each. Um, the photograph is interesting and I'm going to see what I can do with that. You never know. <sighs> Excuse me. It's getting late. So guys, that's uh, where we're at. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at these couple of bits again. If you have, I would appreciate a like and a share, guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know you've subscribed, I'll give you a thumbs up. You'll find me on eBay at the moment, Antiques Arena Clearance. Make sure you add the clearance after Antiques Arena. you find me on Facebook, I have a page and a group, Antiques Arena. You'll find me on my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com or you can come and visit me at my shop, Antiques Arena, 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox Road, 453 Hotel Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.